What's good, my people? I was out of commission for two days because I got my wisdom tooth pulled. I hope I don't sound crazy on this microphone right now, but the show must go on. The content must continue. Today, we're putting Bronny James in LeBron James' 2003 draft class. So yes, we got Bronny James Jr. here. And then at the top, y'all already know some of the notable names. LeBron, Carmelo, D-Wade, Chris Bosh. And then guys that some of y'all may know, some of y'all may not. Chris Kamen, TJ Ford, Kirk Heinrich, Mikhail Petris, Sasha Pavlovich, Jose Calderon, Let's see, Nick Collison, Darko Milicic, Luke Ridenour, David Westy, Blake Zaza Pachulia, James Jones, who is the Phoenix Suns GM right now, Marquise Daniels, Perk, Kyle Korver. I mean, there's some names in this 2002-2003 draft. My boy Josh Powell, Leandro Barbosa, Luke Walton, Mo Williams. Yeah, the 2002-2003 draft class has some pretty decent names in it. Here's the catch, though. For Bronny James, we're giving him 99 intangibles and 99 overall potential. We're just putting him in LeBron's draft class to see where he's actually going. Now, we are in the 2002-2003 season. We're going to simulate the season and then let everybody get drafted wherever the game puts them. I'm not making LeBron go to Cleveland. I'm not making D-Wade go to Miami. Bronny's going to be drafted wherever he wants to be drafted. Everybody's going to be drafted wherever the game puts them at. We're just going to see where Bronny goes and how his, you know what I'm saying, part of his career will look in LeBron's draft class. For the season, though, Shaq takes the MVP. Yao gets rookie of the year. Nene gets six man. Kevin Garnett gets deep point. Tyson Chandler most improved. Uh, the Phoenix Suns coach gets coach of the year. And the Spurs executive gets executive of the year. Here's all NBA first team, all NBA second team, all NBA third team, all defensive first, and all defensive second. Simulating the playoffs because it really doesn't matter. Who wins the playoffs this year? I do got the Lakers going to the finals. They beat the Nets in five in the 2003 NBA finals. And Shaq wins finals MVP averaging 27 and 12. So we're going to get down here to the draft lottery. See what happens. Cleveland Cavaliers probably should still get the first pick, but I don't even see the Cavs. Okay, four. Pistons, three. Heat, one. Skip the lottery. First pick goes to the Miami Heat. 76ers get second. Grizzlies get third. All right. So the sports news mock draft has Bronny James going ninth to the Celtics. The 2K mock draft has Bronny James going eight to the Jazz. So yeah, sports news in 2K, nine and eight. LeBron for sports news is going one to the Heat. Chris, wow, this is changing up. Okay, sports news has LeBron going one, Melo going two. 2K has LeBron going one, D-Wade going two. So it's going to be interesting. Let's get down to the NBA draft and actually see what happens. But they say Bronny James is going in the top 10. So we'll just see Miami Heat are on the clock. They get LeBron James. What is that? Seven years earlier, 76ers get Carmelo. The Grizzlies on the clock, they get D-Wade. Pistons get Chris Bosh. Bronny goes fifth to the Cleveland Cavaliers. That is actually insane. Bronny goes before Carmelo, didn't he? No, 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 Carmelo went two. Okay, Chris Kamen goes six. Kurt Heinrich goes seven to the Bulls. Utah Jazz get TJ Ford at eight. Boston Celtics get Steve Blake at 9, and the Denver Nuggets take Mikael Peters at 10. All right, so instead of LeBron being drafted to the Cleveland Cavaliers, taking on this team, his son, Bronny, which they actually have Bronny at shooting guard, which is very interesting because I don't know if Bronny would play shooting guard. I feel like, I mean, right now they have him playing off the ball, but I think eventually he could turn into a point guard. Drew Holiday esque, so point guard, shooting guard type, but he is 6'3. So I don't know. We'll give him this first season at shooting guard, and then after this, we'll see if we should change on the point guard. Based on rotations, though, Bronny is currently the eighth man in the rotation with 20 minutes a game. So we're going to start simulating his career and see why well, I did not mean hit Simcast. Simulating his career and see what happens. They lose to the Magic in the first game by 22. Bronny James puts up 12 points, two boards, and two assists, shoots four for five. One for two from the three-point line. That is not bad. Second game versus the Atlanta Hawks. They get a W. Bronny, another 12 points, six rebounds, seven assists, four turnovers. Shooting efficiently, might I add. Okay, let's get to the, uh, game three versus the Bulls. They lose by eight. Bronny, Bronny, Bronny. Okay, bad game. Two points, one rebound, three assists, three turnovers, one for three from the field. All right, let's get through his first 20 games. See how he's looking through the first 20. I mean, he started out the first two games hooping pretty decently, so kind of hyped to see what he's looking like with 99 potential he should vastly improve you know what i'm saying from this season to next season etc etc first 20 games the Cavs are 8 and 12 i'm pretty sure they're really like not in the playoffs because they don't have lebron james 14th in the eastern conference right now through the first 20 and Bronny James is, what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seventh. And on the team in scoring, he started five games. Okay, he's up to 25 minutes a game. Seven points right now. Three rebounds, four assists. His three-point percentage is good, but his field goal percentage is terrible. 34% 
from the field, 64% from the free throw line, and he's still a 72 overall. So, I mean, not the best start, not the worst start. He is a rookie. We'll get down to the all-star break, check him out at all-star break, see if his overall has increased because 99 potential, his overall should go up throughout the season. All right, 15 and 34 record at the all-star break for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Not in the playoffs, of course, because, wow, they're literally last in the Eastern Conference while the Miami Heat with LeBron James are first in the Eastern Conference. So season stats, Bronny James still down here, started two more games, six points still, three rebounds basically if you uh, round up, four assists, field goal percentage went up a little bit, three-point percentage dropped a little bit, and he shot how many on the season? 67. Three-point attempts on the season, still a 72 overall. So, I mean, it's not that bad. Do we got any cold spots? Like, where is he shooting good from? Bad from? Okay, he's neutral. I mean, he's doing what he can in his rookie season. Maybe he'll have a bigger role next year because the Cavs are not making the playoffs this season. So, hopefully, they can get another draft pick in the 2004 draft and don't draft a guard so Brian can come into his own. So, Shaq is taking back-to-back -back MVPs. LeBron gets rookie of the year, Eddie Curry six man, Ben Wallace, Depoy, Tony Parker most improved, Bill Jackson, coach of the year, Lakers go 54 and 28, uh, San Antonio Spurs, executive gets executive of the year, All-NBA first team, wow, Shaq is hurt day to day, Tracy McGrady, Torn Wright, Achilles out for the season, All-NBA second team, you got Kobe Bryant there, All-NBA third team, you see LeBron, LeBron averaged 23, 7, and 6 in his rookie season, All-Defensive first, All-Defensive second, Rookie first team, okay. Rookie second team. We're not going to see Bronny on the all-rookie team at all. The Cavaliers do not make the playoffs. I'm not surprised here. But Bronny James did finish the season down here as a 71 overall. Averaging six points, three boards, and three assists. Got to have a better season next season. Let's see who wins the NBA Finals this year, though. All right. The Lakers are going to go back. Yeah, they beat the 76ers in seven. Shaq back-to-back -back MVPs, back-to-back -back Finals MVPs, 41 and 17 in the NBA Finals. It's crazy i'm not gonna lie to you let's see draft lottery because the Cavs stunk it up they should definitely be in a running for a top pick again this season yeah 25 percent chance to get the number one draft pick and the cleveland cavaliers definitely get it but the question is who is in the 2004 nba draft devin harris luau dang dwight howard okay these are some decent names i hope for the sake of 2k that dwight howard gets drafted first to the cavaliers you put dwight howard with Bronny James, I think you're doing something. If you get Devin Harris, that might mess up, you know, Bronny's ability to progress. And the Cavs go with, you really pick Devin Harris. Whoever the general manager is in Cleveland, if they pick Devin Harris over Dwight Howard, they would be fired. And whoever this is getting picked over Dwight Howard is crazy. Luau Dang goes before Dwight Howard. Four, Dwight Howard falls all the way to number four to Charlotte. Omeka Okafor goes fifth to Portland. Whoever that is goes to Indiana. Whoever that is goes to Seattle. Forrest Hamilton like what is, is this draft bad because they're literally picking mostly AI players Sean Livingston goes to Minnesota at 10 but I just saw mostly AI players bro go in that draft class Jameer Nelson Sebastian Telfair Kevin Martin J.R. Smith Trevor Reza Josh Childress Chris Humphreys Andre Dawkins I think that could be a real player Tony Allen like all of these regular names down here and in the top 10 I think we saw what three one two three four four five ai players go in the top 10 that's crazy all right Bronny has only increased to a 73 overall devin harris was drafted and he is a 76 overall but Bronny is still a shooting guard i wonder if i changed him to point guard if i changed him to point guard he would go to a 72 if i made him a small forward he would go to a 75 but a 6-3 small forward is crazy so we're going to keep him at shooting guard check the coach's game plan see where Bronny falls Still the eighth man in the rotation at 23 minutes a game. So let's, I'm, I'm not even going to do first 20. I'm going to get down to the all-star break and see what he's looking like. Maybe by the all-star break, he's playing better. Hopefully he doesn't get hurt or anything of that nature. But we got to see more progression from a 99 potential player. He should have went from like 72 to like 78 overall in season two. But maybe his attributes or something played a factor into that. All right, at the all-star break, it's a 19 and 31 record. Miami Heat are back in first. Cleveland Cavaliers are in 11. So we're three spots away from being in the playoffs, but that is six games behind the eighth seed. Let's check out Bronny's stats, see what he's looking like right now. And I got him down here. Six points, three boards, three assists, shooting worse from the three-point line this season. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. To be honest, points are looking the same right now. Rebounds are looking the same. Assists down a little bit, maybe because of the Devin Harris selection. 
and i mean he's a 74 overall so it might take Bronny a couple of years to really like progress into this 99 overall potential we didn't do our upgrade board today give him any upgrades maybe we do another simulation where we do give him some upgrades to see what happens but this is just purely off the strength of simulating him being in lebron's draft class and seeing how he progresses maybe because it's not the modern nba he's not doing as well i don't know i ain't gonna lie to y'all though this might just be Shaq's simulation because three mvps in a row dwight howard is rookie of the year who we should have had in cleveland eddie curry six man Shaq depoy eddie house most improved pop is coach of the year spurs executive of the year all nba first all nba second all nba third all defensive first all defensive second the rookies here we go Devin harris made all rookie first team so that's decent but the cavaliers are not in the playoffs for a second year back to back and Bronny james actually got hurt left elbow tendonitis out one to two weeks but he still didn't really pick it up i mean six points three rebounds three assists bad season even though he started 31 out of the 80 games for the year let's simulate the playoffs if the lakers go back to back again which they did it they ended up losing pistons beat the spurs in seven chauncey billups averaged 27 7 and 7 and got him a finals mvp so i guess we hit back to the draft lottery to figure out if the Cavs get another top pick says they're 8.8 percent to get fifth they literally got the fifth pick i don't know who is in this draft class for you know what i'm saying us to get oh chris paul we don't need Chris Paul, though. I'm not seeing any bigs worth picking up at fifth, but I feel like if Andrew Bogut drops, we'll probably get Andrew Bogut at fifth. We just don't need another guard that's going to stunt Bronny's growth. I think he would have played better if we didn't get Devin Harris, but Indiana gets Chris Paul. The Knicks get Raymond Felton, which is interesting. Danny Granger goes to Toronto. Darren Williams goes to the Warriors. Cavs get Andre Blatch. Okay, we did get a big man. It's not Andrew Bogut, but it's Andre Blatch. Seattle Supersonics get Gerald Green. Nuggets get Lou Will, Hawks get, okay, it's a trade. Shandon Anderson and Alvin Williams gets traded, so the Raptors now have this pick. They get Charlie Villanueva. Pick number nine goes Luther Head to Portland, and number 10, okay, a trade for the Wizards. I didn't even get to see the trade because it went off the screen. Salem Stoudemire goes to New York. Wow, so the Knicks picked two guards in the top 10. Sounds like New York. And Bronny James is drastically not getting any better. Like, he's just not. He's at a 74 overall I mean, his potential should still be, you know, 99. Yeah, 98 intangibles, 99 potential. I'm not understanding what's happening here. Checking out in a game plan, though, let's see if he still keeps his position. He's still the eighth man in the rotation. So third year in a row, he's the eighth man in the rotation. I mean, let me simulate. I'm not going to go all the way down to the all-star break. I'm going to simulate these first couple of games. The Cavs are going to be bad again because, you know, they didn't get LeBron. So they're just going to be bad and see what happens. They're four and five. Let me get to this game. They're five and five through the first 10. And I just want to see, you know what I'm saying, what's happening. Okay, he's up to eight points. Eight points, four rebounds, three assists, 38% from the field, 32% from three. So, I mean, he's averaging more points currently to start the season off. So, maybe that's a sign of something. By the All-Star break, he should be hooping. If not, by next season, we definitely should see some improvement. Like, he's, unless, you know what? I think this is his last year on his rookie deal. Actually, he's up to a 75 overall. But rookie deal, rookie deal, let's see. is a team option after this season. So the team could pick him up or they could drop him off in the free agency. And he can leave Cleveland and go somewhere else. Maybe he blossoms on another team? I don't know. 20 and 28 record at All-Star might be the best of the simulation so far. But guess what? The Cavs still are not in the playoffs. 11 seed, three games out of the eighth seed. But it's Bronny James playing better basketball Devin Harris is hurt Bronny James has not started a game all season for the first time in his career and he is looking at eight points three boards three assists and just terrible shooting splits all across the board I didn't say his attributes was going to be better I just said he had better potential he was a 76 overall just now but I don't know it's looking tough for Bronny in LeBron's draft class cannot lie to y'all it's, it's looking like bad ball right now okay all right and now things are coming to normal because LeBron James is winning MVPs 28 10 and 7 Chris Paul is rookie of the year Andre Miller six man LeBron Depoy Devin Harris gets most improved Cody Blount yeah Cody Blount coach of the year in Miami all NBA teams we don't care because we don't see Bronny James playoffs the Cavaliers again do not make the playoffs it is smelly ball being played in cleveland because they're all the way down to the 14th seed 28 and 54 and Bronny james probably is still stinking up the place eight points 38 percent from the field he made it up to and 27 percent okay best season so far eight points four boards three assists 38 percent from the field 
27% from three. So, I mean, still didn't beat rookie year three point percentage. He's a little lower in free throw percentage, but point averages wise, rebound averages wise, he went up. So, we'll see. Maybe he can keep progressing with this. Who wins the NBA Finals this year? The Miami Heat beat the Spurs in five. Vastly different than, you know what I'm saying, what happened with LeBron in Cleveland when they played the Spurs in 2007. But 30 points, 10 boards, 9 assists, finals MVP for LeBron James. Cavaliers get the fifth pick in this draft as well, the 2006 NBA draft. I don't know who's really in this draft, but we will see. Andrea Bargnani goes one to the Magic. Seattle Supersonics gets Rondo at two. Pacers get LaMarcus Aldridge at three. Hornets take Brandon Roy at four. This is a decent draft. And the Cavs take Kyle Lowry. Why? Why? Kyle Lowry, Devin Harris, and Bronny. Like, this is not set up for Bronny to be decent. Rudy Gay goes to the Kings. Paul Millsap comes to Cleveland. Okay. Kyle Lowry, Paul Millsap are not bad picks. A trade to announce. Michael Finley for Michael Red. Okay, the Knicks pick Tyrus Thomas at eight. The Bucks get whoever that is. And then the Knicks back on the clock at 10. They pick Tabo Zafalosha. And Bronny James is still here with the Cleveland Cavaliers. And he is now a 75 overall. Devin Harris has a migraine to start the season. We haven't even played the game yet. And Devin Harris already has a migraine. Kyle Lowry's down here. Paul Millsap is a 75 overall. So where the Bronny James minutes at? He is now the seventh man in rotation at 26 minutes a game. And at the all-star break, they suck again. And Cavaliers probably just won't get out the playoffs or make it to the playoffs at all. But an 18 and 30 record. Bronny James, let's see if he's improved. Any okay, he's up to 11 points a game. He is now fifth on the team in scoring. Started six games, four rebounds, three assists, 42% from the field, 34% from three. Bronny is starting to pick it up. 77 overall started six games this season as well lebron james though goes back to back on the mvp list Barnyani, rookie of the year frankie nance don't know who that is lebron is deployed guy weber don't know who that is coach of the year goes to rudy tominovich in memphis and memphis executive gets executive of the year all nba first team second third yeah, all that good stuff. Caitlin Cavaliers, nowhere. They still stink. Like I said, every year they're going to stink. I don't think that, you know what I'm saying, the Cavs will make the playoffs at all in this simulation. 13th, 32 and 50. Bronny, James, stats, 10 points, four boards, three assists, best shooting splits of his career. And he is now up to a 77 overall. Playoffs though, he sweep the Spurs in the NBA championship. LeBron James averaged 37 and 11 to take home the finals MVP. I mean, the Cavs stink, so of course they should be back. You feel me? Into this lottery picture. We're going to skip to the lottery results. Cavaliers literally fell to sixth in this draft. And that ends up with them picking Jeff Green at six. Because KD goes one to the Trailblazers, probably like he should have. Greg Oden goes two to the Supersonics. Nick Young goes to Portland. Al Horford to Boston. Joe Kim to New York. And we get Jeff Green. I mean, was there anybody else better? Mark Gasol could have been picked. You know, I don't know about Joel Anthony, but we definitely could have went with Mark Gasol over Jeff Green. Give us another big man. You put Mark Gasol next to Paul Millsap. I think that's pretty decent. But hey, I'm not the GM of the Cleveland Cavaliers. I'm just here to see what Bronny does. And Bronny could actually leave in free agency unless the Cavs picked up uh, his option. They had a team option on him, so the Cavaliers picked it up which it doesn't look like they did. So Bronny James is no longer in Cleveland. Bronny James is a free agent. He didn't get picked up by the Cavs and he ended up being a free agent after the season that he had in Cleveland. Four years in the NBA and he's out the league after coming off of his best, you know, season. He doesn't have any accolades. You know what I'm saying? No accolades whatsoever through his first season or first four seasons. He's just here. All right, so I'm now controlling the Milwaukee Bucks. Their point guard selection is terrible. They do got Ray Allen starting at shooting guard but ray allen is 32 years old right now so what i'm gonna do for the milwaukee bucks is we're gonna go here and we're gonna sign Bronny james to a deal i mean this is what we can offer him so let's offer him the deal you don't have enough room to sign Bronny. wow so Bronny wants more than 13 million dollars he does not want to sign a vet minimum after literally being kicked out of the league like he didn't get a contract in free agency and that's probably why because he wanted too much money but i want Bronny to play one more year so I'm gonna cut the salary cap off real quick so we can go sign him to a deal and just kind of, you know what I'm saying? See, as a starting point guard role, what can Bronny do in a starting point guard role? We're gonna negotiate the contract. Bronny has accepted it. And then we're gonna put salary cap back on because yeah, this is not the simulation where salary cap is off. That video will be coming soon. So Bronny is the starting point guard for Milwaukee. Ray Allen is a two, James Posey is a three, Tim Thomas is the four, and Chris Kamen is 
the five. We're going to go down to the all-star break, simulate it, and see what it's looking like. All right, for the first time in Bryant's career, he has a positive record at the all-star break. Let's see, eighth seed in the playoffs. Wow, he leads the Cavaliers, and the Cavaliers are in the seventh seed in the playoffs. That is very interesting. But what is he averaging on the season as the starting point guard? 13 points, four boards, four assists. Shooting splits are still terrible, and it says he only started 37 out of the 51 games. So did they move him from starting point guard? No, he's still there. He's a 79 overall, though, so this is very interesting. Milwaukee could make the playoffs, but we'll see. All right, LeBron is the MVP again. KD is rookie of the year. Rashad Lewis, six man. LeBron, deploy. Brandon Roy, most improved. And then Miami's Heat coach gets coach of the year again. We don't care about the All-NBA teams anymore at this point. The Cleveland Cavaliers, or not the Cleveland Cavaliers, shoot. The Milwaukee Bucks either didn't even make the playoffs at all. They lost, wow, 37 and 45. Cavs missed the playoffs by one game. Bronny James literally got hurt. Day-to-day -day injury. He only played 76 games this season. Started 68 of them. Finished with 13 points, 5 boards, 4 assists. Terrible shooting splits. Let's skip through the finals. See who wins the NBA championship. Hornets win in 6. Brandon Roy gets the finals MVP. I don't know who was on this roster for them to met. Never mind. This is a decent little team. Jameer Nelson, Brandon Roy. Carlos Boozer, Steven Jackson, that is not bad basketball right there. But Bronny James, unfortunately, did not have a good showing being in LeBron's draft class. I mean, career averages of nine points, four boards, three assists, 37% from the field, 27% from the three-point line, and 67 from the free throw line. I hope he has a better real-life career because this was just bad basketball here. But I appreciate y'all stopping by and sticking through, man. Trying to talk through this wisdom tooth is kind of crazy. But we got to make it do what it do. Make sure y'all subscribe, drop a like on the video, and I'll see y'all in the next one.